Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching this special episode of ePlan Essentials. The main reason for this episode is we finally reached the 1000 subscribers on YouTube. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. Thank you everybody for supporting the growth of the channel. As you know, the main reason why I'm creating the videos is to support your growth. The reason why this topic today is special, it's because it's personal. The story starts around four years where I had the chance to talk to one of my colleagues and we spoke about enclosure quality in ePlan. His statement was, the retail enclosures in ePlan don't have the necessary quality for our customers. I was a little bit confused because I know Rital has the best quality of data in the data portal. So I was looking at one of the enclosures. If we take a look here in the data portal, you see the VX8806 is the enclosure with the highest downloads, over 100,000 downloads in the last years, right? So I downloaded this enclosure and I showed him if you use enclosures out of the data portal, they come with the necessary quality, right? So if you click then, for instance, on view, you can see on the mounting aid, all the mounting grids and base point necessary to add, for instance, accessories of the enclosures. His statement was still, no, the customers would like to see actually more information of the enclosure, like for instance, the profile rails. As you can imagine, I was defensive and he was also defensive, so we didn't came to a solution. A couple of years after, so actually last September, we managed to meet again. He had a couple of questions, and one of those questions was obviously how to get enclosures in a higher definition. This time, my mindset was different. I was genuinely interested to help him. So we sat down and came up with the proper solution for him and his customer. And as you can see, the idea of this video was created a year ago. And finally, we reached 1000 subscribers, so I'm happy to share it with you. So like any other component in ePlan, if you would like to create the macro, you will need to start with finding the step file. If you haven't watched my video on how to create a macro in ePlan, I will link it right now. So. If we would like to get this retail enclosure in high definition, we will need to find obviously the step file as I just mentioned. So for this, we will go to the retail homepage and search for this enclosure. So if we click on the retail homepage, as you can see, retail.com, you could search under search them or article number here for the enclosure. In my case, it's I already found it here, but you can search 8806 000. And if you enter, you will land on this on the same page here. Okay. Here we will click on this part. And if we go down, you can find CAD. So under CAD, you can choose how you would like to receive the data, either by email or direct download, or you can check preview. In our case, I would like to speed up the process. So I'm just selecting direct download. Here you can select now from a variety of CAD formats. To speed up the process, you can just type in step. And then, for instance, step uh, AP214. And here, level of detail. And that's the crucial information which we're looking for, because out of those four files, low, medium, and high, and high with exclusion areas, we would like to have the high definition information. So here you could choose either of those two. In my case, I'll select here high and then press request downloads. After a couple of seconds, you should be receiving a download link. As you can see here, here you can download the file you have requested, press download, and then in a matter of seconds, you, you should receive it. So as you see here, download and download is already finished. Okay, so let's go back to ePlan. As you already know, when we create macros, we need a macro project, right? So I created here, or I opened here the ESS sample project. And in the ESS sample project, we will insert the step file, which we just downloaded. So for this, we will go under file, import, layout space, step. 
And here we will select the step file which we downloaded. In this case, it's 8806000. By pressing open, the software will automatically import the step file and create their own layout space and place the step file inside. This may take a couple of seconds. 12 seconds later. And after the step file is imported, the layout space is already opened and the step file is placed. So here we will find the layout space number one. And I'll just go here inside and rename it very quickly. And let's call it, for instance, high definition 8806000. Okay. We will come here later and assign the macro and the respective macro variant. Okay, so what you need to do here, if you would like to proceed very quickly, is now insert the placement area. So under insert, we can go to placement area and define the respective placement area. In our case, this will be this rectangle here. So after you have placed uh, the placement area, it appears as a green plane here and the enclosure is placed. So now the next logical step will be to assign each and every surface with the right definition, place the mounting surface on top of it and add, for instance, base point. If we would like to be very quick, we can now use the following functionality, right? So we will select this layout space HD and under edit, there is a possibility of automatic interpretation. Automatic interpretation allow you to take some information from an already created component or macro and assign the information on a target. Okay, so we will have this as, as our target selected, use automatic interpretation. And now you can either be part specific or project specific. In my case, I already have inserted and called it original 8806. I just inserted the enclosure prior to this video there, so we don't have to search it. So here, 8806. And now, as you see, the information is assigned, right? And it comes with all of the base points with which the original had and all of the mounting grids, for instance, right? Which is pretty cool. If you now click here, look at the top, you will see that the holes fit exactly with the position of the mounting grid okay so what you need to do now before you are done is to obviously check if this is the information or the automatic interpretation was perfect or good enough right in our case there is some superficial information here uh, for information which we don't necessarily need And the more important thing is that the main components, like for instance, the mounting panel are proper, that the door is proper, and the profiles are proper. Okay? If there is some additional fine tuning necessary, you could now obviously define it manually. If you are happy with the result, you can go to the layout space and now assign the macro. Okay? So that's also why I have here created the original enclosure, because if you click on the original one you see where this macro is stored so we will take the macro and we will copy it in our new in our new layout space so here we are going to the layout space going to properties and now we will utilize the macro name here if I will now select variant A, then I will overwrite the original uh, information. But just for demonstration purposes, I will create variant B. Or I would maybe recommend you even to, when you create this, to create variant B. Uh, so you can keep both informations. Okay? We will press here apply. Say okay. And now that we are happy, we can select the layout space. And now we will generate the macro. So under master data, generate automatically, we can generate the macro. Of 
okay, now that the macro is generated, let's take a look at the result. So we will go to the ESS sample project. Here I have placed the 8806 before. Before I'm placing it, we will press on update and complete just to make sure that the information is updated. And now if we press here on 8806,000, you see I have here one device. And if I insert this device, you see that's variant A, like before. And if we press tab, we will see variant B. Okay, so I'll press once A to jump on the handle point and place it next to each other. And there you go, we have now next to the original one placed the enclosure with the highest definition. If we deactivate the mounting aids, we will still see all of the cutouts from the profile rails, which should help our customers place accessories on our enclosures.